I was wondering who was gonna fold first. Who it was a a game of uh, mental chicken. Yeah, with the world, as they say. Men- yeah, <laughs> mental chicken with the world. Wow. WRBN the podcast. We're here with Brad Darnell. I am Danny Boone, and we're doing it once again. Here we are, back at you this week. Tis true. Tis. Tis. He's not a liar. Mm. Some things are not to be stretched, misconstrued, or even embellished upon. <laughs> you, would, you would never embellish, I don't think. No. Would you? That's all I do. <laughs> Mm. That's <laughs> you embellish your beer. You That's imbibing. Beer. <laughs> what? That's imbibing. Imbibing. Never embellish the beer. Leave it as it is. <laughs> I will give you a lesson in English. Uh, he's going to give me a lesson in English, folks. This could take a long time. I'm just kidding. I don't want a lesson in English. I don't. I need one, but I don't want it. Okay. I won't. That, that's for another day and another teacher, my friend. All right. There you go. What's up? What's up? It's, uh, it's a good night. It is a good night. It feels great outside. And while I was out there thinking, I don't know why this just crossed my mind, but I was out there thinking a while ago that Caitlyn Jenner now looks like a really tough probation officer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I Got know, it. I, I saw I saw <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner on the news the other day, and they they were so serious. Okay, they're so serious, but it's very still hard for me to take it serious. And I I don't know why, but I see Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. Yeah. I grew up with Bruce Jenner, but still, I looked up. There's Caitlyn Jenner. It's cool. In a pantsuit. Yep, in a pantsuit. Looking, looking like, looking like looking, you're looking like she was a um a high school volleyball coach. Yeah, looking like she's finna revoke your shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're out. Yeah, it. The, yeah, she. Uh, but she was speaking the truth, though. That's the one thing f- about her. What female know. basketball coach? There you go. Which you go. <laughs> is, if I may say so myself, is very stereotypical. And a lot different wrong. nowadays than it was back in the day. It is You're different. You're talking about fucking what? 1983? Yeah, back in 1983, it was different. Your your coach was different. Your uh, the women's what is it? The gym coach. Everything coach was had, different. Everything was different, especially the gym coach. Have you seen the teachers nowadays? You seen the teachers we went to school with? Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't even know that they're really, I don't know, allowed to teach anything these days. I don't think they are. Do they go to school? <laughs> but they, they've they they've uh, definitely, oh, that's a conversation for my wife and a whole uh, other thing. Oh, no. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I, I know, she would, I if you go into that, she'll crush it. I know, and then we're going into all kinds of, uh, let's go. Back, let's get back onto the music. We were uh, talking last Last joint. Last joint. We were what a talking. great word. Yeah, right. Joint, man. You've been brushing up? I, I'm trying. Yeah, man. I'm trying a little bit. Yeah, cat. You know what I mean? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Cool. Yeah, you got to get all in it, man. You got to. I've been trying to pick up some new shit. Like, ugh. I've been using dope a lot lately. Dope? Good one. That'll never go out. Yeah. But I'm still concerned <laughs> with the track slapping. Being lit or litty, 
And uh, there's another. Liddy? Liddy? It, yeah, which is, I I'm guess. Liddy. Liddy. I guess that Yo. means you're just like lit. Liddish. A little bit more. Yeah. It's kind of like being Jewish, but I you're like not really a Jew. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what that means. That sounds like the worst. Like, how are you ish? What does that mean? If I'm I, ish. If I was Tell Jewish, I'd ish. be pissed that somebody said I was, ish. anybody was ish. Ish. You know what I mean? What I the know. fuck's that mean, bro? Know. Ish. I use that word a lot. Hang on. I'm trying to think of the word I use it with. Something ish. Uh, uh, dickish. I might dickish. Use that, I might use that word, you know. Dickish, prickish, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, it goes on and on. Uh, we were talking about Tuma May Consume. The last song we listened to was uh, Less Than Fresh, which happened to be, I think, one of my favorite songs off this record. Yeah, that was really a... That's the one that we did last time? That's the last song that we listened to. Oh, that's before. right. Because we started talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Started got all jokey, jokey with that scenario. I remember it. You were, uh, yeah. I'm it was. It's a. It's fucking. It. The song's funny because uh, you guys are really, really getting it on there. You're all doing a beatbox thing. Yeah, we there. just was just random beatboxing at the same time. It really weren't trying to be that dope. But it, does but it, that, it was less than fresh for sure. I thought so. it was really fresh. <laughs> Hey, yes. can I use that word, fresh? Yeah, uh, if you want to. that word gone? It's making a resurgence, I think. It's it's coming back. And plus, things are always fresh. You get fresh vegetables, fresh fresh topic of conversation sometimes is needed. So it's not a word that really plays <laughs> out. It's not something that the kids are running around saying, yo, that's pretty funky fly, fresh, kid. It's not. They're not doing that. But They're not fresh. It's more litty for fresh. them. It is. It and it is, slaps. It, it, it slaps? Yeah. I don't get that one. Yo, that slaps. Yeah, I guess. Like slaps your mama? Yeah. I don't know. They're like, it's like now the tracks even have bad attitudes. Yo, that beat slaps. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, the rapper's not really that pissed, but the track slapped the shit at you. You know what I'm saying? Track, it's like. That track slapped the shit out of me. Yeah, it slaps. Watch out! Don't play that track. Uh, you know how stupid that is. But I like the lingo. Don't. I mean, I was always raised like that, and I never really tried to keep up with it. It just kind of found its way into your vernacular as you hung around friends that were involved in hip hop. You know what I mean? And dope, like a pounder, a key. Shut the fuck up and listen to me and programming a beat that's hitting. And if you're not, it's, <laughs> and I'm not bullshitting. Just like that. And that's what he was talking about, right? Why do I have to act so stupid? <sighs> it, just, it just comes naturally, I think. Friday, August 4th, Rehab plays the Outpost Concert Club at 9 p.m. in Kent, Ohio. All right. Yo, what's up? This is Danny Boone from the band Rehab. At August the 6th, that's a Sunday, Rehab plays the Sandy Hook Tavern at 7 p.m. with St. Tragedy. Hazel Green, Wisconsin, United States. Zoom in if you don't know where that's at on Google Maps. And uh, that's where we're going to be. Check us out. You might even see us. Uh, so here we are with the with the record uh, less than fresh. The next track on it is Lab Rat, which is a skit. You guys have uh, tons of skits on this record. Yeah, most of them are from movies. They probably shouldn't be used. Uh, what what yeah. is what is Lab Rat? I'm not sure, but I'm oh, sure is it? Uh, I'm sure it's copywritten. <laughs> uh, if it's from a movie, I bet you money. Uh, all right, go ahead. Let's but anyway, what it is. Uh, is it every disease known to man? I got them all. They never get me in a hospital. My heart leaks. Uh, That's uh, Tommy Lee Jones. 
And that's my heart leaks. My doctor, the oxens. Isn't that from the seat? No more story. They give me breach compound for infection in my bowels. They give me lithium. Yeah. And, and this stump here. This. Oh, uh, yeah, it was right. It's been 10 years since I had my pickup and now. Yeah, I remember. From, I, from Ty Cobb? From Ty Cobb, yeah. I just can't remember all the. I, I used to know it by heart, but I got a little close. That's to it. badass. That's very close. But uh, that's not the one, though. We're gonna. Uh, uh, the next track is "To Whom It May Consume." Okay. Let's check this one out. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't even have headphones. Oh, you might be able to hear it. Better not gonna remember my own. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Listen, there's a bunch.
No, I wasn't telling you, fade it. I mean, you came to your life. I was just whistling like I had my own thoughts going on. And it's not the t- this is not the time nor place for my own thoughts. <laughs> or whistling. Spoon Man. <laughs> Dark and depressive like the rest of the record. Except yeah. for Less Than Fresh. Yeah. Less Than Fresh is not dark and depressing. It is in a way. Yes, it is. Because it's just... Especially if you're not fresh. If they're really <laughs> talking about you. Yeah, why am I still standing? Uh, Stand if you like. You can sit I'm still like. standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get to that record. Yeah. That one. That's to to whom it makes it seem the, I guess the title track. They say I guess that's what it business. is. Yeah, we we was just you know like what I said before we was just first time in the studio trying to, uh, with time to kill how we wanted to, and it was. It sounds like you had time to kill when you're doing it. <laughs> it I mean, it really does. You. The, it's not bad. The production is not as bad as you would think it would be. Right. And that's in my opinion. Because I'm a big... I'm on to people's production. You know what I mean? If it doesn't... If the production doesn't sound like Bob Rock, I just don't like it. That's just me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like a big sound and I like a good production. That It sounds... The production's great on it. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, for the time that it was yeah, done. Yeah, I mean... You guys were doing it. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm impressed with it. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I mean, um, I, I, you know, it. Like I said, this is the one that this leads to everything else, and that's what I'm about. Word up. You know what about this? The, so after that, we've got a song called "Obsession of Achieved," and that's a skit. Okay. Then we go to track number twenty-two. Twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Track twenty-two on a record. Okay. Back in what? the days. And what were you thinking? Um. <laughs> We had a man, you know, before you should have been a double before you when you before the first time you get in the studio, when you're working for all this shit. And, you know, we'd been in the game trying to get on for years. And uh, we had I mean, I still have more than I did then, but we had notebooks for days of romps and and. Really, no hooks or nothing. We were all learning how to do hooks back then, kind of. We saw we well, <clears throat> we didn't see no way. I saw your notebooks, but we talked about that. <laughs> They're all in the the uh, like uh, military crates. Oh yeah. How yeah. it's piled up at your house. Yeah, I got Somebody's going to, I'm telling you, someday somebody's going to find all that shit. Yes. Like, what freak lived here? And they're going to find a secret map to the castle of Gilgamesh. You've know. got you've got the good stuff buried. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got the good rhymes nah, buried. Nah, There's nah, a map to the good rhymes. I've got some buried. terrible ones. Songs. I've got some terrible ones, too. It's like. Just where I was. What about masturbating death? Number twenty song, song number twenty two on here. I have. What is what is that? I have no idea why we called it that. I think at the time we were just really trying to be dark, and I don't. Uh, I mean it's dark. I don't know why that we had to go there, but we did. Masturbating death. What a. <laughs> It dumb sounds like ass. a death metal band. Yeah, what a <laughs> dumbass thing. You know, that's one of the things. It that, See, that's the type of shit you bring up when I'm looking at kids on the TV going, or on YouTube or whatever, going, the fuck are they doing? And then you play this for me, and I go, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did some dumb shit. How about the... Uh, d- Remember the stuff I was trying to play for you? You wasn't, you weren't down with it. 
What? Remember the, the scary shit that I was trying to play for you? Those videos of that crazy dude, Dracula guy. Oh yeah, I don't like. I don't. You know, see, I that, don't like that. I don't like the imagery. Is what he's saying. That and it's the same thing as scary movies. You know, anger portrayed can be inspirational. But when you're watching scary movies and just, you know, fear, 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 like, I don't want to be scared. Some people dig the shit out of that. Yeah, I know it, man. I'm kind of, I I don't like to be scared, but I kind of like to be intrigued by it. Not me. I want to go see Secondhand Lions. You know what I mean? <laughs> love that movie. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I love that movie. You know what I mean? It's so good. Or just it's such a good movie. You know, inspiration. Ali, you know, stuff that. You Boring. Know. Rocky. 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 One of the best yeah. movies ever made. Yeah. The story behind it is amazing. But we're going to get back to this song, Masturbating Death. New heavy metal tune. Sounds like it's heavy metal, doesn't it? I think it is. It's heavy. Sounds like a. Uh, 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 yeah, fan above the opera. <coughs> Who did that? Uh, it sounds, it sounds like a Brooks beat. He did a lot of beats on, uh, on this record. Yeah, and him and State. My acceleration. Whoa, 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 shit, the cross of this whole godforsaken nation. A soul formation war gives me elation. Play tectonics. I will make with embryonic, demonic, electronics. I saw you masturbating death. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, hey. <laughs> who, who came up with that? I, hope I it think wasn't that me. you did. <laughs> I mean, who was in the studio? I mean, I got the hook, man. <laughs> Check it out. What's the hook going to be? Uh, Why were you in the bathroom so long? What would you think? I'm thinking masturbating <laughs> death. Oh. It's probably going to be the hook. <laughs> Yeah, I about killed myself beating I, off last night. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fell off the. Yeah. What a kook. Yeah, you are. In a hurry. The verbal's hotter than Carrie's up. He is not really. Tyranny. I'm profane. When I said it. Yeah. All right. Um. So that's a pretty cool song. I mean, it's got some cool rhymes on it, but I, yeah, just uh. Yeah. Also, also it sounds like you know it's a, you know, a minor, you know, a, a, a key Kena minor, just just uh, you know, what's a key minor? Gloomy, gloomy. Sounds oh, really? gloomy to me. You know, major songs that are in major chords sound, sound, don't sound as gloomy. Uh, I just get a get a gloomy feel from songs that are done in a minor, and that's what it fits with. You know what I mean? Uranus. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it sounds gloomy to me, too. Pretty gloomy. But I think, though, we really were just going off in the verses. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, it wasn't. I don't know. Nothing was really making any. Too much sense, you know what I mean? It was just 
I don't think. But, but for a first record, yeah. Yeah, I, I can understand but that. But that was the thing back then is just going ham. Anytime you got on a track, it wasn't about, uh, at the time, wasn't about being technically the best or, but it was like basically shitting all over the track. Just whatever. Shitting all over the track. Yeah, it's basically just <clears throat> like, <clears throat> You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It does make sense. Okay. Y'all were just going off. Yeah. It was like, like you were a guitar player and it's time for a guitar solo. Yeah. You know, everybody <laughs> you do shit your, all over this thing. Everybody do your best Busta Rhymes. Just fucking yep. just kill it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. You know what? Uh, let's switch gears, Danny. Let's move Which into... Obviously, was not a very good Busta Rhymes for our... But it was still the energy. Anyway, go ahead. No, you're fine. Rehabtheband.com, where you can get all of your news, tour information, music, videos, and our store where you can get all of your cool rehab merch. That's rehabtheband.com. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Always taking compliments. Never hey. Giving them. Never giving them. Taking them. Take, take, take. It's time for that, that, that thing we do every week about this time of the show. What is it? It's called Rehab Unreleased Tracks. Okay. What is the unreleased track? Man, tonight, <clears throat> today is one of my favorites. I, I, I just can't. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. I'll bring my pink chair I can't, back up here. Yeah. I can't. Uh, nice pink, nice chair. Hey, man. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, this song's called, uh, <laughs> I think it's called Baby, What Do You Want to Do? I remember it from uh, when when we would hang out back in the day. I remember you playing it for me, and I was like, "Fuck, man, when's this song gonna come out?" It never did. It never ever. ever Mike did. Harden at production. I think Crisis did the cuts on it. DJ Chris Crisis. Uh, big shout out to them dudes. And um, so good. It. I thought it was a good song too. Um, it's real simple, but it's. I think Mike played the track, and it was just like. You know, I don't know. Uh, it was almost like peaches, 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 peaches. I just had to go in. Hotel room thing? Was this hotel room thing? Uh, no. This is when Mike lived in... Uh, he had a house with a basement, and we would be in there. And uh second house with a basement. Atlanta? Yep. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Check it out. Feel free to sing if you want. I will feel free to. Let's get it. If you 
future looks bright, girl. Let's go live it. And you and me could take the world by storm. Anywhere but here, you deserve much more. And I guess what I'm trying to say is come with me. excited about that one just feels good man that song right there i told you i I used to love it when you'd pull that shit out of me first time you let me hear that i was like that's a hit yeah (laughs) that's a fucking hit whatever happened ah it's such a good song man such a good song i know everybody out there is going shit why have i not fucking heard this so easy that's that song is probably 15 years old. Man, it's so good. It's so good. Ugh, great song. Great job, Danny. Uh, Thank you. Good job, Mike, good job, Mike and Christ. Yeah, Mike Hartnett, uh, DJ Chris Crisis. Uh, that's that's really Yeah, really I don't got awesome. stood up in here, so uh, <coughs> it's going to be hard to sit down to. <laughs> we have to get on the next episode. That my, that joker right there was Woo. swole. Hot, hot, hot. Hey, man, we're going to wrap this up. Hey, please like and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to right now. And also, if you could download uh, the episodes, it does help our numbers a bunch rather than just listening to them. And Danny? Yes. Uh, We'd also 
like you to follow us on all the socials. Come check out our Patreon. Check you next time. Y'all come get at us. Um, Interest, challenges, and circumstances. Till next time, this is Daddy Boot signing off. Uh, yeah.